Welcome back to another episode of Maddie's Rap, the show where we rap about things that guys rap about when we're hanging out. I'm back with my man, Brian Moore from the Be More Faithful Radio Show. And today, we're doing something new this year, 2020. We're doing something called F Friday, okay? But it's not what you think. No no four-letter <laughs> expletives, okay? Yeah, yeah no, four, no four-letter <laughs> expletives. Uh, F Friday, we're, we're basically are, are doing, um, um, basically, we're just going to uh, put in a word that starts with F and... Just without further ado, today is going to be Funny Friday. Okay. So funny. what we're doing today Same. is uh, 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 Brian and I both are military veterans. Uh, we both were Army medics. Yes, we were. And uh, even though we served in different units and didn't know each other at the time that we were on active duty, every soldier has a funny story of something that happened. I have plenty to them. of them, but I do have one in particular. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna just share a quick. It's Friday. We're gonna keep it lighthearted, and we're gonna we're gonna show we're gonna share just a funny story of something that happened uh, while we're in the military on active duty. Uh, Brian's gonna go first, and I'm gonna close this out. So Brian, without further ado, uh, give, give me give, share one of those army stories. Share <laughs> share a funny war story, so well, to speak. War story. This one involves you. Oh man! Wow. Okay. 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 This is what happened. Me and Matthew were in the uh, 3297 Medical Battalion here in United the States Army Hospital here in the reserve. So both me and me and Matt were in the unit in the reserve unit together. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, about we got there in the early 90s when we both came i got there about a couple of months before he did and we forged this great friendship over all these years it's going on what 25 plus years yeah. after us being friends yeah. and everything and uh there's probably a 10 year gap between our ages and everything even though i think i look just as young as uh, you do bro you, you do. got just as much you do i do i got, got more about. actually but listen this is here's the story so uh we have some kind of PT test, and uh, what it is, uh, most soldiers have to be tested physically on doing push-ups, sit-ups, and run the two-mile run. So here's this guy, fresh out of alpha of active duty. I think he was about 20 years old and everything, <laughs> and all slim. Maybe weighed about like maybe 170, a buck That's 70. That's about right. That's about right. And everything, and he's coming in all. The funny story was so. We're we're testing uh, uh, after we do the push-ups and sit-ups. Then it's time to do two-mile run. So we all start off running this two-mile run, and and I knew I ran around twelve minutes, maybe twelve and a half minutes. And that was on my good day. I couldn't run in forty minutes now, but nevertheless, we just running around the track, and here's all of us start off the finish line, and we running and running. And I'm um, puffing and puffing, you know, just trying to make it through these eight laps because you four laps around the uh, uh, track. One mile so down. as I'm coming to my seventh lap, I'm running in and I'm looking at this dude sitting there like, okay. <laughs> so I have to run my next lap around. I'm like, come on, dude. I think he did one of them like a like a lady did in the uh, New York Marathon. She ran <laughs> off the track real quick and came back on the track. I said, "Come on now!" <laughs> but he got it. He got it that day. I'm like, "Do you?" Uh, but you know what? He was our fisher. He did run his eight laps. I don't know what your time was, but you did run your lap. Now that I had to laugh on that one. That was a funny move. Well, right? what was funny, just not to hijack your story, but what was funny to me is. I get to this unit, and I'm seeing some people who are rather. I'm trying to be nice. They're rather. They're rather round, rather portly. Mm, like and, I am right and, now. Well, yeah, but I you didn't look like that then. You no, no, no. You would no. You you were, you a lead mean fight machine then. Yeah, but uh, uh, I actually lapped some of these people. So I just yeah. You, you lapped me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finishing up at the eight laps. I mean, I'm doing my seventh lap, and this dude is sitting there drinking some water. I'm like, how did he do that? I I, I was running, and I'm I, you know I've never because I've never been the fastest runner. We we had a guy named uh, uh, Puentes uh, when when I was in uh, at Fort Polk, Louisiana. He ran at two mile on a course. This wasn't a track. He ran it in nine minutes twenty seven seconds. He leaned over when he's finished, and he got up and walked away. And I, I was like, <laughs> did he just do that? So that no, that I never considered my my fastest time in two mile. Brian ever was about eleven minutes. And 54 seconds, and I clocked that in Kuwait. Uh, mm -hmm. I was overseas, and I was really doing. And I was running in sand. Actually, it was a sandy track, so I probably could have run fa faster were it asphalt. But anyway, that's that's pretty funny. Now I'm going to share. I'm going to close it out with a funny story. Uh, I told you guys I was a medic, and this is uh, this is a funny story. But uh, I was on a training mission at Fort Hood, Fort Hood, Texas, and uh, it, me me and a, me and another soldier. I won't say his name. Uh, I haven't seen him in years. But anyway. 
uh, uh, I'm just going to call him Najee. Uh, there's another soldier named Najee. Um, that was his actual, uh, that was his first name. So I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, me and Najee, we were sitting there and uh, we were supporting. Uh, basically, we didn't have to participate in this particular battle scenario. We were just out there as medical support. Mm -hmm. So our job was to just park our, our, our vehicle. Vehicles. Yeah, yeah. And wait for the wounded. Wait for the wounded. We had a radio running and, uh, you know, so we're sitting there. And I got to admit it, you know, if you're in the military watching this, you know, when you're in an army, Marine Corps, whatever, you can sleep standing up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can fall asleep like that because you don't know when you're going to get sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a this is a mild day in, in Fort Hood, Texas, and, and uh, it was probably in the 70s, and we found a nice shady spot, man, and opened up the top of that 113. Next thing you know, we're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear this call come over the radio. And I woke Najee up. I said, Najee, wake up, man. Wake up. He jumped up. He said, Tal Talfa, what's up, man? <laughs> Najee, somebody broke off. They broke This guy, whoever this guy was, and I'll tell you he was in a minute. I'm going to say his name. Don't I'll say tell you his name. rank. <laughs> this guy completely broke all radio protocol, Brian. Oh, boy. He wasn't using any call signs, nothing. No, no. Romeo 1 Bravo. This is Mike. Like from no. The block, huh? He said, uh, uh, somebody help me, please. Uh, where, where, where are the medics? Where the medics? They're not picking up. And so we sitting there like, it oh felt like goodness. a dream, man. So we picked up. And, uh, 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 Roger, this is, cut all that sh out. You know, I bleep it out for the people watching. He's like, no, you cut all that sh out. I need the medics. Where are you? Get, uh, uh, sir, this is uh, this is uh, PFC Talford. And then, oh, actually, I got, I got promoted to specialist by then. This is specialist Talford and specialist Najee. And uh, we, 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 give us your, give us your coordinates. Uh, I'm over there, blah, 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 blah. So he, he gives us his coordinates and we get over there. We like, oh my God. He said, uh, I'm bleeding and I need help, please. <laughs> hurry, hurry. So we like, oh my God, we got a real world. So we get in the truck, we fire the track up. We get the 113 over there, man. Okay. And we get out. We drop the ramp, run out the back, man. We got our A bags and everything. Yep, so yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and then you see this guy, man. He, this captain, he's just, just, he comes out. Oh, guys, uh, don't worry about it. It's just a little scratch. <laughs> and we're like, what's going on? So we, we, uh, I'm sitting back, taking a, we observing. Our, and so uh, Najee, I'm like, hey, man, let's go ahead and, uh, and and take a look at this thing and see what's going on, man. And and look. And so we're looking, and uh, I said, Najee, get 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 to, get to read on what's going on. But meanwhile, I'm looking at what's going on around him. And he's got all his underlings around him. He's got his, he's got his, uh, the first sergeants over there. He got a couple of lieutenants there, mm -hmm. and you know, first lieutenant, second lieutenant. All so he's chain of command. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's not sounding wimpy like he was on the on the radio. Oh, what's that? So he's, ah, uh, oh, it's just a scratch. So anyway, to make a long story short, we go and, and try to get an assessment of what happened. So mm -hmm. I found the driver. The driver, I can't remember his name, Alvarez or something, but he was a, he was pr pretty much a PV two. He's a, a E2, mm -hmm. drive, driving the captain around. And I said, hey, man, what happened? And he said, I'm going to put it in the accent to give it to you uh, to, in, in perspective. He said, dude, let me tell you, man. He said, bro. <laughs> he said, the, man, the captain, he said, the CO, man, he was trying to pop a star cluster uh, to, 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 to send a signal to the battle. And we, I'm driving. And he said, you know, over here on Fort Polk, I mean, on, on Fort, Fort Polk is where I was. On Fort Hood, the terrain is rough. So I looked at him, I saw him working with it, and he's in the passenger seat, I'm in the driver's seat, and uh, I said, sir, what are you doing? And he says, I'm about to pop a star cluster. So I said, sir, let me pull over and you can pop it. And he said, no, I'll, mm. just, I'll just pop it out the window. He said, sir, <laughs> I don't think you should be doing that. And he said, oh, no, it's okay, I do this all the time. And I hit a bump, and he dropped it in the vehicle, and I jumped oh. out. <laughs> so, so the driver jumped out of the vehicle, man. And he said this star cluster went off inside the oh, vehicle yeah. and burned a, he, he, he burned a wound or something, man, yeah. but he's bleeding. And he's bleeding profusely, man, whatever. So he, And now he's trying to show off because he's got everybody around him. And so he's laying back on the stretcher now. So we're over here trying to start an IV. And, um, and uh, he goes, uh, we're, he says, oh, I'm in good shape. The medics are taking great care of me. Uh, uh, hey, get me a radio over here. I got to keep running this battle. So now, <laughs> now he's John Wayne, right? And um, so I'm starting an IV, and we, we're getting a prep. We got the tourniquet and everything over his bicep. You know, you know this is the routine. You're a medic. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, we, we're, getting, we're getting them ready to start, a, uh, mm -hmm. start an IV and put the catheter in. Mm -hmm. And before we can advance the catheter, we got our gloves and everything on. Here comes, now you know, remember the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the chiefs in there. So in the medical team, used to have the chiefs. Chief. But yeah. this wasn't a chief. They had gotten rid of the warrant officer. Mm -hmm. So we had a, an O3. We had a captain. Mm -hmm. 
So this captain comes over and says, hey, give me that. I'll, I'll take care of it. Uh, he's an officer. I'm going to take care of the oh, officer. Boy. And we're like, sir, are you sure? He says, yeah, get out of the way. I'll do it. Oh, boy. Okay. So here's this position's assistant, 03. He wants to show that he can start this start IV. This IV. And so, Brian, man, this guy puts this IV in. Hmm. I mean, he connects the tubing. He doesn't bleed the air out, for starters. Right. We're looking at him, mm -hmm. but we don't want to embarrass him because he thinks he knows what he's doing. And when he opens up the, uh, when, he, when he gets it connected and gets the tube connected, we see Red, Red going back all the oh, way up into the boy. back. He's trying to kill somebody. He? He's in an artery. He's not even oh, in a vein. So we're like, he's like, uh, uh. And so the captain laying there, he's like, is that supposed to happen? Because I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to turn oh, red. So, so we came and whispered to him, hey, sir, uh, we tried to, trying to help him save face. We basically just kind of took it away from mm -hmm. him and applied pressure over where he had punctured and started another line after that. But he basically was in an artery. He wasn't in a vein. Wow. So he, it's, I'll tell you what, man, all kind of crazy stuff happens in the military. But That's crazy. That was my funny story. So uh, there's uh, some other funny stories we can definitely tell you. I'm, and we I, will be telling you guys more. Absolutely, man. So, well, Brian, I don't have anything else, man. Uh, you guys, uh, if Brian doesn't have anything else, we want to tell you that enjoy your, have a happy and safe Friday. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family time. And um, for uh, from behalf of uh, my man, Brian, of the Be More Faithful Radio Show, I'm Matt D. Talford, author extraordinaire, and hopefully your favorite nonfiction and fiction author. But for now, we'll just say storyteller. All right? So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. For Matty's Rap, this is a wrap. It's a wrap. Peace.